Hi and welcome to the ASFN YouTube channel and uh, today we're starting with some of the baits we'll be showing you guys on a weekly basis we'll run through some different baits and the basic principles and fundamentals of making baits through that you'll be able to develop your own baits design your own baits and be creative in what you're going to offer the fish it really makes a difference in your results when you start putting really neat presentable the most natural possible baits out there to get the bites now today we're going to start off with obvious reasons with the sardine run around the corner and sardine probably being one of the most used baits in south africa i'll show you how to make some sardine baits today we'll be looking at a whole sardine bait on a drift trace and look under our rigs if you didn't see that that's pretty much just a piece of piano wire with a power swivel masthead hook uh, four from a 3.0 to a 5 -0, depending what you like and then I've got a sliding ball sinker on the top here this I fish slowly through the water like a spoon and this is really one of the best methods to catch shad where there's a whole bunch of anglers standing on a rock and you know you're gonna get stuck in all those lines and having a, a proper trace then will just uh, cause frustrations that morning so you fish a drift trace this will get you the best results by pulling this slowly through the water like a spoon you just move it you make sure there's tension you'll feel the shed that first bite he gives you you set the hook if you miss it you must reel fast again and strike again because what they do is they hit the tail leave and then go immediately hit again so if you strike you might miss that second bite if you miss the hook on the first time so very simple how i'll be doing it always frozen bait frozen sardines and uh, that's why i always promote the safari chillers that keeps it nice and frozen for us this particular bait on this trace i like to keep it stiff i don't want you'll see as soon as the sardine starts defrosting it mushes up on your on your trace and then you have to replace it so to just give it a bit longer life i'll use a society stick a piece of it just to give it that firmness in the body so it doesn't shift up all in one bundle okay now to do that i want my hook still fairly loose and free swinging so i'll just measure with a sardine i'll measure the length i'll measure the length i'll need for my hook my hook will sit there so i need very little i need just to there okay and that using the cotton you'll just secure it onto the trace you can even use a bit of foam if you want will make it easier to tie this when it's tight like this and over the swivel here you're going to use it to secure it that's where you'll do most of your turns watch your hand that the hook doesn't catch it and i just make a knot with a cotton there and there you have it now with this particular bait in and in general i cut at least half the tail off Because it causes your sardine to spiral through the water once you pull it so i cut that piece off and then keeping the sod nice and straight you can open it in the bottom or the top the bottom's got all the blood i'm not going to open it from the bottom because that's the mushy part once it defrosts And here in the head it's quite a bit of oil there you'll see those are the oil canisters right there on the forehead they're still nicely frozen solid using the knife i'll get it at least halfway or two-thirds down the 
the back here, make sure it's a bit deeper for the hook. Now this, first things first, you want your hook in the back. Shad, as I refer to as tail in, uh, in Australia, hits your bait from the back. A lot of blood in that head. Now make this uh, stick, I measured it wrong. Make sure you measure it right, doesn't have to be this long. You want that hook nice and proud like that. And then with frozen bait, you use your hand to shape your bait. So with this, you close it and you secure it with a cotton. Now that little society stick I've got inside, keeping it nice and well presented, straight, makes it last for, a, for more than one cast at least, should you not get a fish on the first one, as well as secures the bait on the steel, that it doesn't move up and down. The flesh of the sardine will catch on to that. And do a couple here. You do it like that to make the knot. I put it over my fingers. I grab the tag in through. I drop all the rest and it's underneath and it secures your cotton. That it doesn't go all over the show. And that's it. Drift bait. Uh, you can leave half of that, that won't spin, it won't, uh, it won't make your bait spin in the water, so you can leave that bit, bit of tail, hook must be proud, shad comes from behind, it hits it, you can face your hook whichever makes you feel more comfortable, you can make it face downwards, you can make it face upwards, or out the side like this, it really doesn't matter. Most probably from a logic point of view, logic helps a lot, is facing it to the bottom, will keep the weight on the bottom, also putting your society stick a bit lower will kind of keep it straight up. But with this floating through the water like this, exactly like they do in the sardine run, you're going to get a lot of bites. And that's our sardine drift bait. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the guys that are subscribing. That really helps us. The more subscriptions we have, the more content we can create and bring to you guys. And we'll do our best to show you as much as possible. Remember to do suggestions in the comment boxes below. Let us know what you want to see and we'll try our best to get to that.